Okay, um, because it's Valentine's Day, or Hearts and Hooves Day, whatever you want to call it, um, I was planning on doing this anyway, but it's more appropriate now. Um, a video on uh, love in various religious traditions. Um, I, my expertise is on Hinduism, though, so it's mainly going to focus on that. Um, so there's five levels of love in Hinduism. I actually think that there's like uh, seven, so I'm going to say the two that I think first because I think they're lower than the first lowest one. Um, there's the uh, love, but uh, so these, these don't actually exist as far as I'm aware in Hinduism. The love between a person and a hypothetical. And that's also a person and something that may or may not exist. It's an idea, basically. So it'd be the love, so, so it's sort of like the love that you would have between, that, that you would have with a tribal person in the Amazon, most probably. Most likely you don't know them, most likely you never will know them, and for all you know, they don't actually exist. Or you could think that they don't actually exist. It's still a hypothetical. Um, so your, your love for them wouldn't change whether or not they do or don't exist, or your hatred. Any form of love that you have wouldn't change. Um, and there's the love from a stranger to a stranger. Somebody you pass on the street. You're never going to meet them again. You actually know that this person exists, though. But it's like you don't actually... It, it's, it's sort of like a passing love, like if they are about to be run over by a semi, most likely you'd try to get them out of the way, but you, there's, you don't actually care for them. So. Okay, so then starting with the ones that exist in Hinduism, the, the, the lowest level they have is um, uh, the love between a servant and the master, or the slave and the owner, or any other similes. Um, it's, it's not really, like the other two, it's not really a love that you would think about all the time, because it'd be all like, it just, if such a thing is happening, it's just there, and it's, it's not, and then for that one, it's not love per se, it's more of like, you'd think tolerance or whatever, um, but then you can also go into the thing like, uh, a Stockholm Syndrome, and I think it's Lima, Lima Syndrome, one of those two. Um, I, I think it's Stockholm, yeah, Stockholm Syndrome, you, you're captured, you're, and you, I don't know how to explain Stockholm Syndrome. It's, it's sort of like that kind of love, though, love between the servant and the master. It's not the love between the master and the servant, though, it's just the servant and the master. The servant and the master is the love that you could have between you and God. Um, most religions get stuck on this one. They're stuck on the absolute lowest possible that the Hindus know exist, that, that the Hindus acknowledge exists, as far as I'm aware, level of love. It's like, God exists, love him or else. Uh, Christianity, um, very, various denominations have love God because he's God and you're a pathetic human. Okay, that that's a pathetic version. Um, then there's, I, 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 I don't know almost anything about Islam, but I'm told that you're supposed to like submit yourself to the will of Allah. It's, it's the same general type. Um, it's the same basic kind of love. It's, you're basically a slave of the person, of the god in charge. Um, then, so stage two, the next higher stage, uh, the love between friends, um, because you're, you're not actually working for them, they don't own you, you're just hanging around, um, is a little better, is better than the other one or three, and, but not as good as the following one. It's, it's a little less of a love because you can change friends. Um, you're, you can stop liking, you can stop loving your friends, you, you can get away from them, um, that kind of love. Um, 
And so then the next higher one is the love that a parent has for a child. It's not the child for the parent, because the child that loving the parent would be the, uh, the, the first or third level of love, which is uh, the uh, servant for the master, because the child just does whatever the parent says. It's, it's the same type of relationship. Um, and they have to, otherwise they're punished. Um, so the parent love for, so the love for a parent for a child is the next level of love. Um, this one, oh, the, the, sorry, I have to go back for a second. The uh, love for a friend for a friend is sort of like the, the Quake, um, as far as I'm aware, the Quakers had. Um, the Society of Friends, they, they everybody is equal. Um, I'm not entirely sure of any real monotheistic religion that, as it were, you normally love God as you would love a friend, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to go for them as the, the best example that I know. Um, and then for the uh, parent loving a child, this is not really the case, but sort of like Christmas time. Your, your love, Jesus, is the tiny little baby. Um, and so you're supposed to be like loving him like you would love a child, but, but really it seems like most people are still thinking of him as God, and you're supposed to master-servant, servant-master relationship love. It still seems to go back to that one now. Um, and, and then so, okay, so then the next higher love, higher than how much a parent, a, a parent loves a child. Um, the, the, this one this one and the parent loves a child one are debatable between various people of which one's higher to Hindus next one's higher love a spouse has for a spouse um, I'm not entirely sure how to describe that one because I, I I can describe all the others because I've actually had relate had that as sort of a relationship but I don't know how to do this one um, If you're in the situation, then you could probably explain it better than I could ever. Um, you could also probably do the other next one. Um, so I don't know that follow. I don't, I don't know. I'm rambling on about how the hell I don't know how to, what to say. Um, so then the the next level, the fifth level or the seventh level, whatever you want to call it as, um, is I think it was erotic love. Um, you're so wrapped up in whatever it is that you forget about various other things or, or, or other things and or whoever it is I mean not whatever it is um, it's it's like you could like I often do uh, you, you might forget to eat or forget to do go to work or your, your, your homework or go to school or or all of those various other things. Um, I've also haven't experienced this one, so that's the best I can say for there too. Um, so, just a short little, I think it's a short video on love in Hinduism and monotheistic religions. Almost all seem to get stuck at the the, the almost absolute minimum level. Kapha.